Now, this problem also asks us to look at and to calculate the net present value and the internal rate of return for a mutually exclusive project. And this project they call Project B. So we, in the previous part now, we calculated the net present value and internal rate of return for Project A. We're going to compare that to this project. And this project promises $2.72 million a year in cash flow every year for 20 years. The cost of capital is 10%. And the cost of the project is $12 million. $2.72 million times our PVIFA at 20 and 10 percent, that would give us the present value of the inflows. Subtract from that $12 million, you'll find that present value for this project a positive $11,156,992. So based on net present value, it would be an acceptable project. The internal rate of return is sort of interesting with this problem. Uh, if you saw for the interest factor and try to look it up on your chart, you're going to find the internal rate of return is off the chart. If you work this internal rate of return with a calculator, a negative 12 million, the cost would be under present value. Enter 2,720,000 as your payment, which you're going to get every year for 20 years. N is 20. Have your calculator solve for I, and you'll find that the internal rate of return for this project is 22.2595%, which again is greater than the cost of capital. So this project is also acceptable. Which project do you want to choose? Well, the first project, Project A, is the one you want to choose. Its net present value is something like 14 million. This one's more like 11 million. So again, you choose the project that will add the most to the value of the firm. In this case, you choose Project A.